Hi, this is Christian from swimtofly.com. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to swim uh, confident and uh, independently in the water to become water safe. So the first things to remember when you swim is to be comfortable and relax. Swimming is actually very simple, but it should not be something stressful and everything. So your objectives now is to become water safe. It means be able to swim in any directions, every situation, comfortable, controlling your actions, control your breathing, not being in trouble, crossing the pool if it's deep or not deep, in the water, in the sea, in the swimming pool, as a parent or as a swimmer, your first objective is the safety. So there's only three steps to learn how to swim. It's actually simple. Uh, so we're gonna explain today what are the three steps and what you can do to master each of them. So the step number one, to be able to become water safe, is to be able to blow bubbles five seconds consecutively and taking one breath in. Sometimes the student, they get scared in the water. So what you can do if they are scared to go down is to stay where it's shallow. Here it's shallow, it's safe. I can touch the bottom, I'm fine. The pool is great. So no need to go where it's deep or what to do some stress. Just take it easy. Learn how to blow your bubbles with your mouth five seconds. You can use a mask, for example, or a glass of water and you can practice here. I'm going to blow five seconds. After my five seconds, I just need to take one breath to fill up my lungs again with oxygen. And I exhale five seconds again. Breathe in. Breathe in. So to help yourself, because sometimes you can scare to blow bubbles in the water, you can play your music with your mouth. It's very simple. Just blow. This little sound in the water, the music with bubbles, will help you a lot. So every time you feel stress, just remember the music. One, two, three, four, five. I blow my bubbles. So. Okay, so that's the step number one, first portion. You need to be able to do the same skill with your nose in the water and then later with your eyes in the water. Even where it's shallow, you don't need to swim yet. You just need to learn how to go down in the water and be relaxed and comfortable by blowing your bubbles five seconds, breathe in one time with a big breath and blow bubbles again five seconds and repeat this non-stop with no stress, no fear, where it's shallow, no problem. So I can do it. I will need my goggle for it. So I can put my goggle on. Now it's time to do it in the swimming pool. We are still at the step one. Learn how to blow your bubbles looking in the water. So I'm here and I blow my bubbles. This is fine. So I can go deeper with my nose in the water. Never breathe in with from the nose, okay? The water goes in the sinus. So never forget your bubbles to don't let the water go in your sinus. You blow bubbles in the water with your nose in the water. I'm good. Okay, this is almost perfect. Now you get your, your mouth in the water, your nose in the water, so you need to do the same skill with your eyes inside the water. That could be a tricky portion for some students, so just remember, never forget your bubbles and everything will be all right. One, two, three, four, five, with your eyes, your goggle, looking in the water and relax. As you can see, I'm over controlling everything. I'm fine. My goggle helped me to see inside the water. I take one big breath when I go out and I blow my bubbles. If you forgot your bubbles, you hold your breath, you stress out. Never hold your breath. Just blow bubbles slowly and easy. Five seconds. This is great. So now, if you are comfortable, you can go deeper and deeper until all your head is inside the water. To finish the step number one, which is blowing bubbles, looking inside the water and relax, 
you can go completely down with your head down, even when it's shallow. So I will do it. Now I'm over control. <sighs> Easy. <gasps> Okay, if you feel comfortable, if you think that skill is easy, five seconds blowing bubbles, exiting in the water, going out, one big breath out, and do it again, then it's great. You just achieved the step number one to learn how to swim water safe. Now let's go for the step number two. Once you're able to do your bubbles and relax here, it's shallow, you need to learn how to float. The step number two is learn how to float or learn how to fly in the water like a bird. In the water, you are floating. A lot of people believe they're gonna drop down, touch the ground, and they're scared to feel. Then if they don't touch anything, they're just gonna drown, which is not the case. If you relax, you just float on the surface. Your body gonna float. So to feel that, you need to relax. This is the key point. To learn how to float, you need to relax and start where it's very easy for you. Here, no stress. I can touch the bottom. So I'm gonna start here and learn how to practice how to float. I'm on the stairs and I can look in the water blowing my bubbles. The only little difference is you're gonna push with your feet to glide on the surface and to reach a point where I can just feel comfortable because I can grab it. So I'm here. I blow my bubbles five seconds. I play my music with my mouth. And then I will push with my legs to try to glide on the surface once I'm in the water. Wow, I can fly like a bird. I can fly like Superman, like a bird, like an airplane, whatever you want to believe that you will not fly. Put your feet on the surface on the wall here. Get ready, blow your bubbles, and just let yourself fly away and catch something just nearby, just to feel. Then when you don't touch anything, you're not going down. Just feel it, it's simple. If you are too afraid to do it here, learn how to do it where it's super shallow. Here is super shallow. My hand can touch the ground, see? So I will practice here. Just feel it where you feel great, okay? One more time, it's simple here. You just touch the ground all the time, look down, push slowly, and glide on the surface. Wow, no need to go fast. To practice this skill, try to go slowly and try to go easy. I'm going to do it here where it's easier. I'm going this way. And I go there. Very good. I do one more time. Easy. You can glide with your hand on the front or you can glide with your hand open like a bird. If I open my hand, I just feel my body gonna float. So my hands are open, my legs are relaxed, I just float and I don't go down. Look. slowly and easy. If you stress, if you move fast, you need to practice until you can go slowly. You can even do it if you don't move at all. Okay, I'm not going down, I'm floating, I'm flying. Because I feel it, I can go where it's a bit deeper now. This skill I can practice here. Now I'm gonna practice the same skill where the pool is deeper because I know I can control, I know I can blow my bubbles five seconds and I know that everything is all right because I go slowly, I go easy and I'm gonna fly from here to here about two meters on <gasps> Okay, no need to move your hand, no need to kick, no need to do stress movement, just fly.
Okay? If you can do it for five seconds, you can fly very far away. From here to here, if I push a little bit, I will fly three, four meters no problem. Big breath, low bubbles, push and glide on the surface. Okay, no fast movement, slowly and easy. That's the key point. So when you can do that, you learn how to float, you learn how to fly five seconds by pushing or by staying on the water. Okay, but that's simple. This is the step number two, learn how to fly like a bird. So, to learn how to swim water safe, you need to learn the third step, which is the last one. Learn how to go up by yourself to breathe and blow bubbles again. Because after your bubbles, you need to take a breath. So then you will need to learn how to use your hand to paddle in the water, to make sure that your head can go out so you can breathe in to blow bubbles again. When you swim, you need to learn how to look down, relax and enjoy inside the water and dive. Don't fight to stay outside the water. It's always tricky when you stay outside because your body wanna fly and if you stay outside, you start to believe you're gonna drown, which is not what you wanna do. You wanna feel comfortable. You wanna learn how to glide. You wanna learn how to enjoy underwater. So you need to accept to look down and blow your bubbles as much as you can. So you go up only to take one breath and then after you go down again. So to learn how to do the paddling with your hand, breathe and go down, and what you need to do is at the end of the fly five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, you will not stop. You will start to use your feet to kick the water and you will start to paddle with your hand to go up. Okay? So basically the skill will be like this. I'm here, blow my bubbles five seconds, paddle with my hand at the end, take one big breath and then kick again. Okay, so to practice this skill, to master this skill, is pretty simple. Always go slowly. If you go fast, it shows a lot of stress usually. So take it easy, you don't need to swim fast. When you wanna learn how to swim, you need to learn how to relax, okay? So you go slowly, you blow your bubbles five seconds, you look underwater, you enjoy, you feel you can fly, you can kick with your legs on the surface of the water, slowly and easy. And with your hand, imagine you are walking inside the water. A bit like a tiger, okay? No need to focus on technique stuff like freestyle, whatever. It's not yet the time. Right now, you just need to learn how to swim comfortably. Feel confident, comfortable, take it easy. So every time you move your hand, you pull the water behind. When you pull the water behind, it gives you some power in your hand to go up easily. So you do your bubbles, you can fly, fly, fly and kick. When it's time for you to breathe, then pull with your hand and breathe. You pull slowly, no need to fight, okay? Just slowly, one, two, breathe. And look down again, immediately blow your bubbles because in the water you just fly, which is simple to do. So we're going back on the same skill. I blow my bubbles and I pull. And then I'm here. I don't rush myself, I don't stress. I can swim five meters, 10 meters, 100 meters, two kilometers, it's the same. My speed is under control, my stress is under control. I go slowly, I go easy. I know then when I need to breathe, I'm gonna move my hands slowly and easy and everything will be fine. I can take a breath anytime I want, but underwater, I always play my music. And I enjoy. Okay? My feet gonna kick, 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 kick all the time because by kicking, I'm gonna move forward. 
if you forgot to kick, what happens is your leg is going to drop in the water and then you're going to feel you cannot move forward. So you're going to be like doing up and down and up and down but not going anywhere. Then you're going to start to freak out a little bit and panic, especially when it's deep. So your legs need to be active behind you, kicking on the surface of the water, not underwater. Try to put your feet on the surface of the water. Basically, my legs here will be behind me. They will be kicking on the surface. I am on the surface. If my legs are down here, then it's more complicated. If my legs are completely down, I'm just gonna swim, but I'm gonna stay on the same location. So I will be like this. And after a period of time, I'm like, hey, I'm going nowhere. Hey, I'm starting to be tired. Hey, I start to freak out. Hey, it's dangerous. And then, of course, it will be more complicated. Okay? So, never forget, you go slowly, you go easy, you keep your legs on the surface, you blow your bubbles five seconds. When you can do it many times, in any directions, all over over control, in a deep pool, in a long distance, after a jump, when you feel completely comfortable and safe, then you are what you safe. It's time for you to learn how to practice the freestyle, which is the most easy stroke to learn after to be what you say. <coughs> for the people who are still struggling a little bit, you can use the, the paddle in your hands to give you some power. For example, some students, they have some difficulty to feel the paddling in the water. So you can use like this kind of uh, resistance paddle. It gives you a bit more power for your hands. You can put your hands inside, one fingers, and then that helps. You can use that with child, you can use that with beginners, adults. It's not like to swim very long distance, but it gives you the strength that you need at the beginning. You can even use flippers at some point for the people who cannot go up by themselves to practice the up and bubbles. So remember the step number three is like, blow your bubbles five seconds, be relaxed, fly like a bird, and then paddle at the end, to breathe and don't forget your kick behind you to move forward okay so let's say I'm a bit beginner I don't have enough power I do small movement instead of big movement okay I'm a bit stressed yeah, you can give them some small paddle plus things it helps never forget each movement to be big okay don't do small movement like this don't over double paddle never stress take it easy you can fly this is what you need to think in your head so I have my paddle and I do again my skill. Five second bubbles first. And I paddle. You see? I can kick faster now behind me. So when I'm able to do it, fa um, when I'm able to do it slow and relax and completely in control, then of course, of course you can go faster. Of course you can put some power. So now I know I'm comfortable. I want to go faster to the other side. Okay, I will make more strength in my kick. I will move my hand faster, and then you can swim to the other side, water safe, but with more speed. Now it's demonstration. So that way of swimming is the last one you're gonna reach. Try to don't do it at the beginning. At the beginning, learn how to be relaxed and comfortable first, okay? A lot of people, when they learn, they stress because they, they believe they're gonna drown. There's a lot of things that people don't realize at the beginning, but it's pretty easy. The more slow you go, the more relaxed you go. And swimming should be something easy, simple, so practice with always someone to look at you, but don't put pressure on yourself, okay? So, this is Christian from swimtofly.com. I hope this video will help you. You can go on swimtofly.com to download the full method package and you can learn how to swim freestyle for the next step now with us. Thank you.